Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up multiple worlds on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, and you'll need to make sure that you're running Pocket Mine, as we're going to be installing a plugin called Worlds, and there'll be a link to this page down in the description below so that you can find it easily. So, you'll need to make sure on the control panel that you're running Pocket Mine. If you're not, click Change and then just select Pocket Mine and select the latest version um, and select No to Remove Files and then click Install and you should have it installed. So once you've got Pocket Mine installed, you'll need to install the plugin. So to install the plugin, you need to go to this link down in the description below and then you'll need to click the Direct Download button and then click Save and then you'll need to upload the .far file that we just downloaded to your Minecraft server. So if you go to the Control Panel, then go to the File Manager, then go to the Plugins folder then click upload file, choose files, and then select the folder or file that we just downloaded. So in this case, it was worlds.far. And then click upload from computer. And then once it's uploaded, click restart. And then give your server a few moments to restart. And once it's restarted, we can join it. So now that the server has restarted and is running, we can go ahead and join it on Minecraft Pocket Edition. So once you've joined your Minecraft server, we can go ahead and take a look at some of the commands which are available for worlds. So open the chat and type forward slash worlds and then click enter. And here you'll see all the commands that are available. So let's create a new world. So to do this, type forward slash worlds, create and then give the world a name. So I'm going to call this adventure. And then we're going to give it a type. So if you wanted it to be a flat world, you would type flat. But I want it to be a normal world, so I'm going to type normal. So now that we've created that world, we can teleport to it with worlds TP and then the name of it. So I'm going to type adventure. And then as you can see, I've teleported to this world and it's a brand new world that's completely different to the other one. So let's say in this world, I didn't want people to be able to build. You could type slash worlds set build false. And this sets building in the world that you're currently in to false for all the normal players. So now if I was not an operator on the server, I wouldn't be able to break blocks or do anything that impacts building on the server. So there are loads of different settings you can change. You can change whether PVP is allowed, damage, interact, drop, hunger, or fly. So you can change all of those settings with the same command. Just replace um, build with the correct variable. So you can also change the game mode for the worlds that you're in. So let's say I wanted the game mode for this world to be creative. I would type slash worlds set game mode creative. And now for normal players, when they entered this world, they would be in the creative game mode whilst in the adventure world. And then when they, when they go back to the normal world, such as the main world, they would no longer be in the creative game mode. So that's really it. That's basically all the basic features to this plugin. There aren't any configuration changes you can make. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple plugin. If you have any questions, please contact our support. Um, and feel free to suggest any new tutorials you'd like to see down in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.